welcome back to the NIA interactive tutorial on how to develop a website using CMS Made Simple, a great content management system. So last time when we left off, we had installed CMS Made Simple, we installed the themes and we organized the themes. So now we have the template here, the home template, and it's separated in some logical areas. So we have each section, instead of every section living in the template, we have the sections divided off uh, into either global content blocks, which are also inside of the templates, or into snippets. And all of those are, are content blocks that we, we can reuse the content. So now that we have separated, uh, it's the template itself is much better organized and much easier to manage and also easier to replicate when we need to make some new uh, templates uh, uh, for this site. However, we do need some more customization. So if you can see, uh, well, you can't see it, but the name of the page is, is the original name of this uh, Favison template, which doesn't help the uh, customer at all, the client. And then, of course, we have a, uh, we need to have the icon uh, up there uh, uh, that works in a particular way. So first, let's take a look at what we got here. We're back on the theme. And if we want to look at the area with the uh, where the uh, uh, navigation bar is and where the logo is uh, that would normally show up on the template. But when we go to the template, it's not there because we instead have it replaced with this global content Favison header. So now we're going to go to that header. So we're going to go to the design manager and the header. And from here inside the header, we can see exactly what's going on with the logo. So a couple things with the logo. First of all, if we were to cl cl click on the logo, we would go to an index.html page, which is not where we want to go. And in addition to that, we'd also go to Uploads Favison, which is where we sent it when we were first uh, customizing the, um, the template in order to work with CMS Made Simple. So we're going to change this here. And there's a couple of things we can do here for the change. We can change it to index.php. That would work. Uh, well, but we can also change it using the smarty tag to root URL, which is what we'll do. And that'll just send it to the root URL, and we can reuse that. The other thing here is we have this uh, logo, which is this generic logo that comes with the uh, uh, with the template, with the theme. But we're, we're going to upload our own logo here. So I'm going to go to Content File Manager and open up my File Manager. And inside of my Images folder, so we are start out in the uploads folder here's our Favison folder but in the images folder I'm gonna upload a couple of things here should I just upload one and that will be the near interactive icon so this is going to be called near favicon dot PNG and that's is uploads images so instead of upload Favison it's uploads images and then Nia Vivicon PNG, and I'll put Nia Interactive here. And you probably can't see it, but this is going to change what it looks like uh, on the Vivicons up 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 on top. On the, on the but this here changes the uh, the logo up here, so you can see the logo is added. Oh, this logo is a little bit big, so I think we want to use the other logo. Uh, so I added. I actually added that to the wrong part. That was not the favicon. That was the uh, uh, the logo. So let's upload the logo there. So here we're gonna go back near interactive logos. What we actually want. So near dash interactive dash logo dot png, and that's the right size. So I change this to near interactive logo and save that and then the logo now on the top of the page fits here we can make it a little bit bigger but it fits there and it replaces the default logo that came with this site I'm going to do the same thing here so that's the you know, we took care of that, that part in the header here in addition what we turn this into the the link here into the root so when we click on this we go back to the home page so now from any page inside the site we can go back to the home page by just clicking on there right so now we're going to go back to the uh, to do more customization we're going back to the uh, template for the home page we're going to do a few things here first we're going to change the name 
of this, the title of this page here, into the site name and the page title. So this would dynamically change it to the name of your website and into the website title, the page title rather. And then here we're going to do uh, uploads images. If you remember, we had a favicon here, and that was Nia dash favicon dot png. And so now this will upload and up update here. And you're not going to be able to see this part, but I can see it, and it's fixed now. It's named correctly, and I have my uh, icon up there on the top. All right, so let's see what else we can customize here. Let's go all the way down to the footer. There's a few things we can change here. So let's go, we're done with header for now. So we're going to go down to uh, switch over to the uh, content manager slash snippets. And we're going to go to the footer, favorite sound footer. And here we have all kinds of stuff we can do. I'm going to WYSIWYG this one just to make it easier. There you go. So that way anyone can change it. You can't see the background colors, but it still shows up as the way you want. Uh, so we're going to say here, this is for an organization. So we can say this organization does great work. And they could have their links here and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, this template. We'll keep that on there. But you can customize the footer any way you want here. And then when you do that, you can see that all your changes have been made here. This organization does great work. And of course, you can change all this, change the number of, uh, of columns, etc. So this is where we can start customizing. Let's customize now the, uh, the banner up here. So this one here is uh, a call the home slider or the slider. And we're just going to say something different here. This is an organization doing good work. So we can customize this here just by changing the width making changes inside of WYSIWYG or directly with the HTML. So here now we've changed this, change the text here, and we can do the same with anything else around here. So this is the way we can, we can customize some of the features and some of the uh, items here inside of uh, the, the template. So let's do one more thing while we're here. We already created some uh, custom areas for some parts, but and that was how we wanted that for the home template. We're now going to do that for the main template as well. So here's the main template. First of all, we made some changes here, which we need to copy over from the uh, from the other template. But uh, we have the header, and we changed the header in main, but we haven't changed the header here. So remember, we made some um, uh, changes to the to the icon, and we also placed it somewhere else. But instead of redoing those exact same changes here, we're just going to reconnect the exact same uh, global content block. So when we switch this over, of course I misspelled the name of the global content block. I was doing the favicons instead of the favicon. And there it is. Then now we have the icon here, and this icon takes you back to the home page. And we made the changes here. So there's a couple other things we can do here. The big one that we want to do is we want to make changes to the footer. So remember, we connected the footer, and that was a snippet. So we're going to add the snippet here as well. Going to replace this text with the snippet. And that way, if we make changes to one of them, to changes to the snippet, it'll make changes to every single page on the entire website. So we don't have to make changes to the home and to the interior pages. We can make changes to both. All right, no errors, although the footer is not showing. So the snippet is not found. So let's see what the snippet was actually called. 
Again, I misspelled the favicon. All right, so here's the footer. So we're back in business. And the only other thing we have on this page is the side navigation bar, which we also want to turn into a snippet. So this is generally well documented, but the side navigation bar was not as well documented. So we're going to end. All right, so we're going to grab the side navigation bar and we're going to turn this into its own snippet as well. So we're documenting it, and then now we're going to create this, uh, mark the snippet. So we'll name this one Favasan Sad Knife Bar, and then we'll create the snippet. All right, so now we have all of the major sections of the site broken up into these smaller pieces, and they're all fully functional and working. So now that we are able to better organize and did a little bit of tweaking uh, to some of the, the content, we're now going to do some bigger tweaking with the navigation bar and with some of the other features here.